Hey everyone, welcome to day two of the Super 7. Seven tips to help us be better prepared for Minnesota's walleye season coming up on Saturday. Yesterday we talked about considerations and choosing the right line for our early season jigging and rigging rods. Today we're starting to look at some factors that are going to affect what lake choice I'm going to make for Saturday. Now typically early in the season I fish one or two lake styles. I love fishing what's called what I call a shiner lake. A shiner lake is a lake that's got a good population of spot tail shiners. A lot of these lakes are bigger, deeper lakes. A classic one in my area is Otter Tail Lake. Early in the year, if the water's warmed up enough, we've had enough warm days to warm up those shallows, the shiners will come up and they'll actually be spawning in the shallows. The walleyes will be right there with them and they'll be biting. The variable is, have we had enough warm weather? What I'll do Friday is I'll check with some of the local bait shops, the people that I know that are in the bait business. If they tell me the shiners are running, well, that's going to be my choice for Saturday morning. If not, if it stays cool, we don't think we've got a good shiner run coming, then what I'll do is I'll target one of the small shallow lakes in my area, what I call a put and take lake. And the decision that I make or the, the lake that I choose will be one, I'll spend time on Minnesota's DNR Lake Finder website and I'll research some of the population surveys because a lot of these lakes are stocked lakes and they test net them to see how good the, the uh, walleye populations are and I'll choose one that's got a good population. The other thing that I take into consideration that helps me make the determination is how was the bite last winter? A lot of the lakes, these small shell lakes that have good winter bites last winter, that's because they have good walleye population. So stay with us. Tomorrow on day three, I'll take a look at my jig box and I'll show you some of the things that I'm going to have tied on for Saturday morning. And Friday, stay with us because Friday I'm going to reveal the lake that I'm going to open up on on Saturday. So stay with us. Tomorrow it's day three of the Super 7.